Oh. Channel switched. All right, this is a completely unscripted stream about mod signing. Let's do a quick breeze through of the tutorial I wrote. A couple of steps, and you're done. I'm gonna go through this real quick. Boom, Armor Tools, you download them. Get them on your PC. Launch them up. This is what you need right here. You get on Builder. DS sign file. That's what you need. Keep going through this list. Download all the tools. Create them out the P drive. You don't have to do that. Open the item builder. Boom, we're here. We have our paths. This is where the actual mod that you want to sign is, or build is. And I'm, I'm awfully working on group link, so it's in my group link folders. System is selected, so I go OK. And then when I pack it, it'll pack it into this destination directory. So I put a folder on my desktop, compiled mod directory. Boom. So let's do a quick pack. I already have it. Don't really need it. Don't really need this, but boom, build is successful. Open that up. Boom, here's my file. All right, so that's how you pack it. Simple, simple, easy peasy. So that's that's the pack. It didn't take me even five minutes, but that's you know the time it takes if you haven't got the tools, etc. So once again, open up Armor Three Tools. Open up DS Sign File. Boom, we're here. We have our path to the file that we created, the PBO that we want to sign, and the actual key that we want to use. So to create the key, you know, create key. Type in the authority name or the key that you want to have that name assigned to. Uh, mine is L prime. So I don't need to create that, I already have one. So we will browse to our destination folder where I have Boom, all my files already set up and compiled. Um, this doesn't show it, but I already have these already signed. I think this is, yeah. They're already signed. So I don't really need to do this. This is, once again, this is just a quick toot of showing you guys how to do it. Boom. So you have select the file. Boom, it's right here. So now you want to browse to your key. It's in Arma 3 Tools, down here in the DS Sign File folder, and you will see it. Boom. L Prime, private byte key. That's the one you want to use. The private byte key is the one you use to create the public byte key that you transmit among, amongst clients. So, boom. That's that. And then you click Sign File, and it signs the file. That's it. That's all it is. That's all you have to do. And then you have a folder, oops, with all your files signed in it. That's literally all it, it takes to sign a, a mod, to sign a file. Um, and on Builder, if it's not compiled yet, um, if you have a mod that you've downloaded uh, that you can't seem to get working on your server and your server's signature protected, um, most likely it's the keys. It's all, it has been a problem with me for you know several mods. Um, I just re-sign them. It's not. Um, some people don't understand it and frown upon it, but that's just because they don't understand it. You're not you know violating any copyrights or um, licensing. It's just a key and a signature um, to allow you to use it on your server securely um, until the mod maker himself releases his keys. So granted, you're not going to be able to have a bunch of random people join with that mod because they don't have your particular key and signatures for that mod so you'd have to distribute it against amongst those people but um, for personal use or you know private use in a, in a group or a clan um, if you have a mod or you find a mod that you download and it doesn't have a key or signatures you can easily sign them and use them on your server by doing this method once again it's it's really easy add-on builder to pack it up you pack it up I have a folder on my desktop to put them in and then I am transfer them into their respective mod folders after they're compiled. Once they're compiled, I go to my DS sign file, open that up, go to the sources wherever they wherever they're put in their directories. I go browse there, open, click select the file that I want, 
and then browse to my key and sign a file. That's literally all you have to do. Um, happy, happy gaming, and um, good luck.